So you guys all just heard that phone call that I just did. Yeah. Right? Okay, so you just heard that phone call I just did. Now what I want to show you something is this. Check this out. This lead came in the other day on the 18th, right? And there was a note from John that said, said he won't buy a car over the phone, so I reinformed him what we do, and he did not want to speak about it. Um, now, I read that note before I turned around and went through all this. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, if you're reading that note there, this is a negative statement. This is right here saying he doesn't want to speak about it, doesn't want to do anything. Really? Because I just got this guy, you know, opened up. I've got, I got the audio, I recorded the phone call, I got the guy excited, interested about it, talked about his trade, this, that, the other thing, etc. Um, so you can't just be negative and thinking that somebody's not going to do something or say something. Because... He, John didn't say the right things. John didn't articulate the value or do this or do that. Do you see what I'm saying? So, you know, that was, I, I hope, a, a big lesson. I, I extract a lot of information. And you know what's crazy about this look is that in his all his notes, does John talk about anything that's 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 the trade? No, there's no trade information that's put here in, in here. That you see, it's blank. Ladies, do you see that? Yeah. La, I know you're blind, but you could hear that, right? Okay. Under trade information, I already got the details that the guy's got a O2 Hyundai Santa Fe leather four by two six cylinder. Now, here's the thing I want to share with you that is that. Yeah, but hold on, stop. Let me let me train this. I got this. Baby. That was my call. All right, so the idea, though, is that he tries to say, oh, it's, it's loaded. You heard that? Mm -hmm. But it's not loaded because it doesn't have a sunroof, and it's not 4x4. Four four. Do you see the customer's perception is there? That's why we need to qualify and get the information. He said it's in good to excellent condition. He told me he's got new brakes, new this, new that. So he's tip pride that he's upcut the vehicle at a good standard. Why isn't any of that information in here? He couldn't obtain it. No, because he didn't. Not he couldn't. He didn't, he didn't obtain it. He didn't ask the right questions. He didn't get the right value, etc. Does that make sense? Had them know, and that's what they're full stop. What are, What are your thoughts on that? No, the same thing. I mean, he could have asked the questions as far as if he had a trade on or any other thing. He, he probably didn't, so that's why he didn't get the information. And that's why he got put the notes in that he did. Now, the problem, though, is this, is that if I had that information, I would have had a different track to go into. Do you understand that? If the notes were there about the trade, about all this other stuff, I would have been able to, to look at this and had a different direction to go in. But I had to basically take the call from scratch because I walked in, and in my belief, this is a hostile situation because he's like, you know, he didn't want to talk about buying a car over the phone. I try to reinforce it. He don't want to speak about it. I mean, like, that's what I walked into, and I still turn that negative into extracting positive information. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my notes, I'm going to add them into here, I'm going to add the trade into the profile. So I'm going to customize the profile. You don't want to just bang through all your leads and not turn around and take the time to, you know, update the information and put the proper notes in. Because let's say it's your manager or coworker or a trainer that comes in behind you, I've got nothing to go on except for the crappy notes that you put in beforehand. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let me stop the update.